Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make the double crochet cross stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing all today? Welcome back to my channel. This I have here is a quick swatch that I made so you can see what it looks like, what the end results looks like. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a red heart category four yarn here. This is a beige yarn. You can use any size yarn you want to. And I have a five millimeter hook. Okay, so I'm going to make my slip knot and we need to chain an uneven number of chains to have an even number of chains. So I'm going to chain 21 and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my 21 chains here, and now we're going to go into the second stitch. So you skip that first stitch and make a double crochet into the first, the next stitch. Now you're going to make a double crochet going all the way across, and when you get to the end, you should have 20 double crochets. Remember, you're not skipping any stitches, just 20 double crochets across, and I'll be back. Okay, I have my row one of 20 double crochets going across. Now we're going to continue, chain two and turn. Now because we're using an even amount of stitches, we will be skipping some stitches. So your first chain does not count as a double crochet. You're going to skip that chain, skip that first stitch, and then double crochet into the next stitch. Remember that chain does not count as a double crochet. So yarn over, skip your first stitch and go into your next stitch with a double crochet. Double crochet in that space. Now you're going to go back into the space that you skipped. So you take your hook, yarn over and go back into double crochet back into the previous stitch that you skipped and that's how you make your double crochet cross stitch so now you're not going to go immediately into the next stitch you're going to skip the next stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop pull through two pull through two so now we're going to yarn over again and go back into the stitch that we skipped. Make your double crochet into the st stitch that you skipped. And that's it. That's how you make your double crochet cross stitch. So keep repeating this all the way across. You're going to skip one and double crochet into the next stitch. And then yarn over, go back into the stitch that you skipped and make a double crochet. So I'm going to keep doing this all the way across and I will be back and meet you at the end of the row, right before the end. You want to ride on my wave just because it's fun. You want to be in my space too close to the sun. Don't seem to care if it's safe. Well, that makes two of us. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and I have two more stitches left. So as normal, we're going to skip this next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch, into the last stitch of the row. Make your double crochet and then go back into the skip the stitch that you skipped with another double crochet. And that's how you make your cross stitch. So I'm just going to show you how to go into the next row and we'll be done. So chain two and turn your work. And now again, as you see your X stitches here, the cross stitches over here. And so again, you just continue making those cross stitches. So again, that chain does not count as a double crochet. So you just skip that first stitch. And then go into the next one with a cross stitch with a double crochet. And 
and then make your another double crochet the one you skipped go back and make another double crochet so that's how you make your double crochet cross stitch just continue repeating the rows back and forth you can even add another row of double crochets if you want to into the row just when you get to the end of the row you chain two and turn your work and just make double crochets all the way across without any skipping so I'm gonna meet you at the end to show you what to do with the rest of this and I'll be back okay so I'm at the end of the row and I've chained two and turn now I'm just gonna show you how to make your double crochets. You can make that chain count as a stitch if you want to or not. If you do not, then just go ahead and skip a stitch. That chain counts as a double crochet and then just make your double crochets all the way across. So I'm at the end of the row and I've made my 20 double crochets. As you can see, I did not chain or skip any stitches and you should end up with the number that you started with so now I am going to yarn over and continue if you want to you can add another row of cross stitches but I'm just going to end it here so this is what it looks like when you're done I want to thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook Instagram and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet have a great day bye bye You wanna ride on my way